Hello everyone, I hope you're well and safe. Well, today we are doing Ask Muniba Mazari round two. I've selected some of your questions and trust me, those are such nice and deep questions and I'm really looking forward to answering those. So let's begin. Well, I stay positive by not being negative. I know it's easier said than done, but let me tell you something. When you realize that whatever is happening around you is not in your control, but what you certainly can control is everything that's happening inside of you. Uh, for example, you cannot control how people act or react. Even this whole pandemic has taught us that we humans have nothing in our control when it comes to the outer world. But what we certainly can control is how we act or react to what's happening in the outer world. By controlling our own thought process, we can literally change the perspective. And also, if you want to stay positive, please block toxic people. I have done it recently and trust me, it has really helped me so much because if you surround yourself with the positive people, you become a positive person eventually. Well, a lot of people have asked me this question and I repeatedly say that yes, there are moments when I feel weak. There are moments when I just don't feel like waking up in the morning and face the world. And I'm one of those few people who believe in telling the truth about vulnerability. That it's okay to be vulnerable, it's okay to be scared because strength and weakness, vulnerability and power, all this makes us who we are. We are humans and it's okay to feel weak, it's okay to be vulnerable. And because I'm a human being, I feel vulnerable too. Expressing myself in three words, well, those three words would be, uh, for sure, I am an impact, I feel for people. And when I say it, that I feel your pain, I truly mean it. I am a survivor and I think with time I'm becoming a good listener. Well, I don't believe in reacting to whatever is happening around me and hatred is one of that. I think it takes hating on someone to understand how taxing and painful this negative human emotion is. Hatred does not harm anyone but the hater himself. So instead of uh, thinking and reacting to the haters, I always wish them all the best and I always pray for them because, you know, uh, they're in so much pain already. Just imagine if somebody is hating on me. They will die every single moment the minute they see me flourishing and thriving in life. So instead of reacting to them, just, you know, take pity on them and pray for them. If you truly want to be confident, it's very, very important for you to understand that whatever you're doing, you're not doing to impress the world. Even if you are delivering a speech, you're not delivering a speech because you have to impress whole of the audience. You are delivering the speech because that is your true calling in life. And whatever you are doing is coming from your heart with the purest of your intentions. And once that is sorted, you're confident and you're not scared of impressing the world because even if the world is not being impressed by you, you'll be fine. I think uh, the best way to live a good life is to live a meaningful life why you are doing what you're doing is very important. For example, if I'm making this video today, the only intention behind making this video is to reach out to those people who might be in the need of my words. And that's what it is. Anything that you are doing, just make sure that your actions are helping people out and that you are doing everything with the purest of your intention. So I'll repeat what I just said, that if you want to live a good life, live a meaningful life. Well, this question was asked, what's the secret of your beauty? Which I responded to as, let's rephrase, how can we increase our inner beauty? I think uh, all of us human beings are mirrors and what we see in other people is our own reflection. Try to keep your heart clean and pure from all negative emotions like hatred, envy, greed. And you know, once your heart is clean and clear, it will shine through your face. And I read this beautiful quote somewhere which says that those who shine from within don't need a spotlight, and not even makeup. So if we enhance our inner beauty by being positive, by being grateful, I don't think we need anything else to glow. But 
It's a beautiful question. Yes, there are times when there is no ray of hope, when there is no light at the end of the tunnel. For example, what if you have acquired a permanent disability, like in my case? What about you lose your, your child or your loved ones or your parents and those who have gone are not coming back? Those are the moments, the darkest of the moments, where you realize that if you are chasing um, for a ray of hope, sometimes you yourself are the ray of hope. That's why I say that I tried to find a hero somewhere to follow, but I couldn't find one, so I became one. And in the darkest of the moments, I realized that sometimes you have to become the ray of hope. You are the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, no, I think I'm not a strict mother at all. In fact, we were having a conversation the other day and Niall said, Mom, you don't stop me from being naughty every now and then. Why so? To which I responded that, Niall, um, I think with time we elders need to understand how to let go of the control. Now, because you're a 10-year-old boy, I want you to take the responsibility of your own actions. And that's called self-growth. And he replied, Wow, Mom, you're smart. So I'm not strict, but yes, I do believe in discipline. And the only thing that really bugs me and ticks me off is when somebody is being rude and unkind. And Niall exactly knows it. So he tries to be kind and considerate and, and decent. And that's all what matters. Rest, I just want my son to be a good human being. And definitely I want him to be the best in whatever he does. But I'm not strict at all. <laughs>